I'm sure most of you remember Thomas Humphreys. He's, uh, well, I guess the nice way to say it, he is uh, the bald one. He looks like Fletch in Dress Up. He looks like Chevy Chase playing Dress Up in the first Fletch. And uh, last time y'all saw him, he was getting his little minivan towed because he doesn't believe that he needs insurance or registration or a tag or a driver's license. Now he's going to try and get it out of impound. Enjoy. Towing here. This is just some personal advice for me. If you're going to conduct any form of official business, I highly recommend that you wear clothing. Carry on. All right. I made it to Vic's Towing to pick up my stuff with the shopping cart from Walmart. And I'm sure Walmart appreciates you stealing their property. Freedom Wagon guys. Holding the freedom wagon for ransom, extortion. Vic's towing. Thieves with a license to steal. What the reality is, guys, tow truck companies are thieves with a license to steal. And saw sits are high school dropouts, too lazy to get a job. Hello, I'm here. Come get my stuff out the white van there. Okay, yeah, and then I need another ID. The new All day. right. Yep. It's up. Thank you. Dangerous getting over that road there. There's like impact. Yeah, people are wild out here. Yeah. Let me get a cop and I'll be right back. All right, thank, thank you. you. And that's why we created motor vehicles to go over that road. Off every time. Still runs good. Uh, no reason why it wouldn't, you know, but. <sighs> Thanks, man. And now it's just grabbing the things that mean the most to me. Uh, one being these license plates. Or not license plates, they're just plates, but uh, I made history with these. So definitely taking those with me. You know, who would have thought that uh, we the people plates could, could you know what I'm saying? It, it, it's such a, a violation to this system of slavery that, you know, just putting those plates on there stirs the pot like crazy. It's because they are illegal i.e. against the law. Back in the freedom wagon, guys. Feels like home. Well, maybe if you got a job and paid your bills, you could have a home. <sighs> but, uh... I'm grateful they're letting me get my stuff out. You know what I'm saying? I'm able to get the things that matter the most to me. And, um, you know, the rest is replaceable, truly. But um, I'm not ever going to bow, okay? You mean you will never perform your responsibilities as a citizen of this country and, you know, pay your bills? God is going to fight my battles for me, and um, if God is for you, <laughs> who can be against you, right? Wow, what a surprise. A frauded Ingsawset wants someone else to fight his battles for him. I'm telling I'm going to share with you guys what happened the last time um, a, a tow truck company tried to keep my van for seven months. I haven't even shared with that, that with you guys yet. God... <laughs> I'm telling you, I marvel at my father. I'm not kidding. So, uh, yeah, I'm, I'm interested to see what's going to happen this time. Because uh, 
I truly believe that I'm going to be able to keep my van. No. No. What's going to happen? You're either going to pay the bill or they're going to take your van and they're going to settle and they'll keep the money after they sell it. Even though they uh, they unlawfully seized possession, um, you know, illegally so they they pretty much stole it and that's what they that's what they did i am yeah i remember you man how's it going you guys are, are holding your ground huh can you keep my van huh unfortunately we have to unless chp gives us a release yeah it sucks man but you know unfortunately um, our hands are tied by them yeah yeah i see that and i don't fault you guys either because you know that's that's the abuse of police power they're the one putting the hold on it and enforcing you guys. Otherwise, I would have got, I would have got it out. I would have just, you know, had it towed out or I would have paid you guys the one day fee, you know? Yeah, that's, got it out. that's the big issue right there. You know, is it's not, it's not a matter of we want your vehicle. Yeah. I mean, we don't, we don't want anybody's car. We're not in the business of taking cars. We're in the business right. of towing cars. Yeah. Contracted but by the government. Right. The highway patrol calls us and we're on their list and that means, yeah. We have to do what they ask. And you said so. I, I asked, um, you know, how much? How much are the um, the highway patrol involved in your guys' lien sale? Do they? How, how, how much are they involved in that process? For the lien sale process, yeah. they state that they set the value of the vehicle that we're towing. Yeah. And that deciphers the term of the lien sale, whether it's a lien sale for a car that's valued for nothing. Or a car that's valued for a hundred thousand dollars, right? The highway patrol puts a value on it, or the owner of the vehicle puts their value on it. Okay. But the highway patrol, I mean, by law, so by law, we are we are required to start a lien sale within seventy two hours of the car coming to our yard. Oh, really? Wow. Yes. So there's nothing we can do. It's not even the highway patrol. It's yeah, yeah. It's but something uh, that we have to do just being a tow company. Okay, so the, the highway patrol sets like the value of the vehicle, and then what what does that have to do with the lien though? Because I know you guys put the lien because you guys are owed money, right? Well, yes, but there's different values. So based on the highway patrol's evaluation, it depends on if the car is valued at twenty thousand dollars, yeah. or if the car is valued at two thousand dollars. Right. So say if it's valued at eighteen thousand, like mine is. Bullshit. Bullshit. There is no way in hell that van is valued at nearly twenty thousand dollars. Okay, what, what 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 amount of lien do you put on it, or what do you what's the problem? So it's not a it's not a matter of the amount of the lien; it's okay. just the type of lien yeah, that's yeah. put on it. So it's okay. it's still the same thing, though. I mean, it's it's yeah. just a lien put on the vehicle that the owner of the vehicle is required to deal with, technically speaking. Right. You know, okay. Means, so what does the value have to do with the lien? Then? That's the only thing that the highway patrol has to do with the lien. They okay. don't have anything to do with it. Okay, what percentage of the uh, uh, sale, well, after you lien sale it, what percentage does the highway patrol get? Nothing. They don't get anything? No. 911, what's your emergency? Yeah, I, uh... Call me County with the transfer is gentleman's at Vic's towing city. found a stolen vehicle. He's sitting in it, and he wants us there to release it. Go ahead, please, sir. Stop breaking the law, asshole! Seriously? I'm pretty sure that this is what qualifies as a misuse of 911. Yep. Okay. Yep. Yeah. Yeah. So, Police Department. hi, this is Thomas Humphrey calling. Um, I uh, located my stolen vehicle and I'm sitting in it right now and I need the Sheriff's Department to come out here to uh, validate ownership and um, I need them to come out to release because they're holding my vehicle illegally. So um, I have proof of ownership and you know they 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 they're holding it illegally so i'm not i'm not leaving my van until i get a sheriff to come out here what's your name sir thomas humphrey okay what is do you know what your license plate number is it's not registered i don't register my property to the government okay all right thomas um are you inside the gated area uh yeah, I'm inside my van right now. The gate's open and okay. my 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 uh van is partially the nose is outside of the gated area. But I'm not leaving my van until you guys come up here and get them to release my vehicle. So he's closing the gate. I'm not. Yeah, well, well, 
Well, I'm not gonna I'm not gonna area. take my van from here because you know I'm okay, not well, I'm not gonna do anything that you guys consider to be criminal. I'm not leaving my property. Yep. Oh, you guys hang tight for a yep, yep, no worries. Thank you. Just a gut feeling. I don't think he's going to be thanking the deputies in a little while. Okay, thanks, yep. Thomas. Bye. I don't know what else to do, man. You know, I mean, I and, and look, I'm, 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 I'm a peaceful inhabitant, dude. I, I don't wish no harm upon no one. I just want my property back, man. That's all. You know, you guys have. Yeah, no, the, the van is my property. The van is being held by law enforcement. Yep, right. So they on the vehicle. Right. What, what I was informed of. Yep, unlawfully, though. If, if you're trying to cause an issue, I can just ask you politely to walk out of the gate. Well, this is my pro I'm not leaving my property until I get... I can ask you politely, can you please leave the premises? Yeah, yeah I know, I understand you... You can you can ask me you can ask me. To, this is private property. Yep. I can ask you to leave the premises. Right. Well, I'm just I'm gonna wait for officers to come so that I have proof of ownership right here, and I, I just need them to I need them to validate ownership because I have not seen anything from you guys stating that you uh, own my vehicle, which I was told you guys do. So I'm gonna need you guys to present that or you know whatever in comparison. This is, God I'm dead. Yeah. Amen. Door. And I'm truly grateful. Yeah, and I'm grateful. I'm, look, I'm desperate. After I leave, you know I'm going to leave here today because the police are going to make me leave. Well, yes, because you are currently breaking the law. A couple of them. You guys will, you guys, huh? Yeah, I have a um, I have a scheduled time to be in uh, Missouri as well. So it's I actually uh, we're actually gathering together to serve serve God, and so I have appointed time to be in Missouri on the 29th. Oh my God, I care so little, I almost passed out. So you guys are are highly hindering me from serving my God. And if you could tell us what is the statute for that law. Yep. So, um, this is my private property. Okay. I've never registered it to the government, mm -hmm. so it gives you guys or Vix Towing no jurisdiction over it. It's private property, okay. and the Fourth Amendment protects my right to privacy, and and we shall not be deprived of our life, liberty, or property without due due process of law. Okay. So. And them taking my property, I'm desperate too, man. I'm under duress right now, and I'm, I feel like I'm back home. Look at my mattress. I live in here, okay? Everything I own is in here. I travel, and I've been living in here for three years, okay? And your fuck-ups in life are not their responsibility. So I don't know what else to do. I've, I, I, I've tried to, you know, get them to release my vehicle. I talked to CP, uh, CHP. They won't take a complaint of... of you know what I'm saying? Because they, 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 they consider this to be lawful, but where's my... Well, how about this? You get a job, you pay taxes, you pay your bills, then you get the van back. Just a suggestion. Due process. You know, you understand due process? I do. Yeah, that means I have a right to be heard before you guys can deprive me of my property. Right to a hearing, I have a right to present evidence, I have a right to cross-examine witnesses, I have a right to appeal a decision so, before before I can be deprived of my property. That is basic understanding of law. Justice, are you a law enforcement officer? Where is the law at in this? I have due process rights. I demand due process right now. Where Where's my due process? So, before you guys can take my property from me. And they, they've already they've already filed a lien sale and they said they can they can so, legally sell my property whenever they want to. That is a violation of I'm sorry, sorry. They, that is a violation of due process. Okay. So how did your vehicle get here in the first place? I was pulled over by the California Highway Patrol. Okay. How long ago was that? August eighth. August eighth? Okay. Yeah. What did they pull you over for? Because I because he was illegally operating an illegal vehicle 
on a public roadway. I have We the People license plates. It's a constitutional license plate with the Constitution. It says We the People with an American flag on it, which you guys taking an oath to protect and defend. Okay. So, you know, that's why he pulled me over because he said um, I didn't have proper uh, license plates on there. Okay. So, basically, long story short is it got towed for not being registered. Yeah. Okay. All right. And then you said you've already contacted CHP? And they refused to take my complaint. I called the sheriff's department mm -hmm. because I... Uh, the highway patrol outranks the sheriff's department. Swing and a miss. Obviously, there's a conflict of interest in filing a complaint with the responsible party. So they refused to uh, come out and they sent CP, uh, you know, the California Highway Patrol. So we we can't take a, a complaint for another agency, right? So I can take a complaint for my agency as a supervisor. A supervisor for the sheriff's office comes out, takes a complaint for them. A supervisor will come out for CHP and take a complaint for the California Highway Patrol. Right, but what happens when someone violates their ambiguity, their 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 bounds of authority? They've stepped outside of their bounds. They no longer have um, immunity from the law. That means I can hold them liable in their personal capacity. But see, that isn't what's happened here. This is why I need to present to you. That is legal ownership. That is my bill of sale from the dealership. I am the lawful owner of this vehicle, so, and they're saying that they let, own it now. Let, let me give you this information so i have no authority to release this vehicle because right. i am not the agency and the authority that towed the vehicle okay so the only person or the only people that can allow this vehicle to be released from here would be the california highway patrol okay so can i have you... no authority to say i'm going to release your vehicle to you and let yep. you drive away i, I understand no so my I hands are tied can you please have the sheriff's department come out here because I, that's i can ask the California Highway Patrol. No, I the need the sheriff's office is not going to come out. They're going to advise you that this is a civil matter yeah. between the tow company and yourself. Yeah. Okay. And so the only person, like I said, the only person that can give any sort of authority to release this vehicle would be the California Highway Patrol. I don't have the, that authority, and the sheriff's office doesn't have that authority. Yeah. In civil law, right? So as a peace officer, my goal is, or my job is, come out and enforce criminal law. What? I am not well versed in civil law, and I don't enforce civil law. You're so you're a sergeant too. I'm a corporal. Corporal, can yeah. you can you please some have someone come out here that can that can put in a stop on them moving forward from selling my property because I can contact the CHP. That's the only. Okay, way. yeah, that, I'll do it. I'll do that then. Have them come out. I love how this frauditing trash think that these agencies don't have anything else to do but just stop what they're doing and come tend to him like they're a damn waiter or something. Sell it. So that is, that's- We've talked about this ad nauseum, right? No, right, right. But right. but that is my, that's what I'm attempting right now is to get them, look, this is donated to me. I have yeah. a traveling ministry. I don't have I an income. Like I said, I live in here and- We have gotten all your documents. Yeah, right? yeah. We've got them all. We've talked several times on this. Exactly. Right? So the way it's got to play out, right? is in order for you to get the car, like I told you today, there are certain requirements for that to happen. License and registration. Right. If you don't, right, and we're gonna, uh, uh, again, for the millionth time, yeah. we are gonna agree to disagree on exactly. the laws of California, right. right? Okay, I'm just going off what, you know, and you you disagree with it, but that's the way it's, it's we're gonna agree to disagree on that. Right. You've either gotta pay the registration and be licensed, or you're not gonna get it out. Okay? I understand, so, are you here to pick up your stuff like you said you're yeah to do? i got my stuff but okay i want to prevent the tow truck company from selling my property not gonna happen no not gonna happen <laughs> okay then pay the damn bill until i have an opportunity to present i know but until i have an opportunity to present evidence to a judge and have my proper standing in court okay. that should that should be you know that that's proper due process that is what i am attempting right now i get it and and look at when i leave this van my home i very well may never come back i very well may never sit in this seat again so that's why i'm under duress sir too you know i don't okay. know what else to do the word billy get that's milk d i l l i I am Billy Gap, and it means, do I look like I give a fuck? 
You guys that's have a the, camera, right? That's not yeah. a mace. Okay. No, that's okay. a camera. Yeah. I, you guys have the authority. You, have right. the, you know, I, I'm not gonna fight you guys. But what else can I do as a citizen? All I can do is gather evidence. Again, wrong. You can get a job, pay your bills, pay your damn taxes. Right. Do you understand that there is a reason that we require people to be tested and properly licensed? to operate a 2,000 pound vehicle that can go in excess of 120 miles an hour. It's the same reason someone has to be licensed to fly a plane. Are you, are you understanding this yet? Of the unjust treatment right. that and I'm receiving. You've sent us a, a ton of that, right? And, yeah. we've, and we've received it all. Right, right. Right. And so you've gathered all your evidence. No, this right? is further evidence. And that's my fine. last, my last. But what we're doing here, we're we're on this gentleman's business now, and you're yep. you're causing an issue there. You're trespassing now. Okay. Well, this is my property, and you you understand what I'm saying? No, no, no. Okay. This is your. It is technically their property right now. No means no. Okay. okay, it is their property because we rightfully had them under our direction tow this car, which means it's their property, right? If you took this car right now and drove it out, we would charge you with vehicle theft. Wow, yeah, I, I understand that. You know yeah. what I mean? So yeah, it's their yeah. property, it is their close of business. They want to get out of here. Yeah, yeah. You know what I mean? I believe he said he would give you till five o'clock, right, Scott? Five today? Was it five today to get his property out inside? Five today? Okay, so you're you're yeah. you're you're past that. So I know they want to go home. We want to go home. Yeah, right. Yeah. These gentlemen want to go home. Right? So, so 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 check it out. Okay. I it things take time and in order I'm I'm filing a complaint with the attorney general's office. Yep. Right. Yep. So in order for I believe that that's going to be what's going to put the estoppel on them from moving forward. Okay. But again, you got to see my dilemma. I don't know what else to do. You know what I'm saying? It takes time. I gotta I gotta gather everything together and put it in a presentable form to them have you considered filling out a job application because they they i sent them an email and they sent and sent me back and they said we don't accept complaints over email and they Who? gave me the uh the the um G attorney general's office oh, okay. his assistant emailed me back and they said we don't accept complaints over email but we are looking forward to receiving your complaint and sent me the link to to, to file it but i'm in the process of working on that right now but things take time and i i'm up against the clock to them they literally told me they can sell it at any moment mm -hmm. and that's what that's what the laws in california allow them to do okay and you might not agree with those laws yep yep right but that's what the laws in california allow them to they're not doing anything that is illegal okay unfortunately like i said i know we disagree on that exactly as yeah. we're gonna as we've talked about numerous times yep yep but they're not doing anything illegal okay? so you 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 are responsible in putting the hold on the vehicle so can you put you a today. hold on them from selling it until i get this complaint done i told you you're responsible okay for getting the vehicle out by two things like i've like i've told you several times registration and license right if you do not do that right then they're going to proceed with with their procedures that is you know selling allowed by california state law selling my property that is allowable by california state law it the, is your choice not to comply with the licensing and registration requirements of the state thank you exactly had you obtained a driver's license had you registered the vehicle had you insured the vehicle guess what well you wouldn't be sitting where you're sitting right now and whether you agree with it or not, okay, you're required to comply. And if you do not, these are the ramifications, unfortunately, for you. Yeah, yeah right? absolutely. I understand, yeah. And so that's, but, and they're just doing their job based on our our request, right? We, we they, they towed it on our behalf, right? And now they're acting upon when someone doesn't come um, and, and, you know. So pretty much them. licensed theft. Oh, that's how you want to think of it. Yeah, it is. But um, so what I want you to do right now, just grab your stuff, Thomas, and we're going to get this process going, okay? All right. So I appreciate good. it so much. Yep, yep. I mean, I don't know what else to do. I'm just right. I appreciate it. You know, you can... and, I, and I apologize for holding you guys up, but no, like, right. I mean, what would you do if you I took you out of your home and told you you can't have it back until I do what you tell me to do? Uh, well, I bought my home. I pay for my home, so that's not gonna happen. Swing and a miss, Thomas. Do what I told you to do. You you would you would obey me if I told you to do no, something if, if you didn't want to do. Order, if I want to get my van back, and I'm telling you know if I'm saying in order to get it back you need license and registration, I get a license and registration. But that's just me. 
Right. I can't make you do that. You're cho- you know, it's your choice. Right. But I would have gotten the license and registration, then he would have released it to you. Right. right? Me, I mean, you obviously think differently than me. Like we, we've had this discussion a bunch <laughs> yeah. of times. We're gonna agree to disagree on on everything. But like I said, I just. Um, Thanks for coming out, man. Um, you got everything you want. Yeah, I got everything, and uh, yeah. So is that shopping cart outside? There's geographical limits, Thomas. It, it is. Oh. Well- wow, that could be the nicest possible way I've ever heard a police officer say. Tom, did you steal that shit? I, I'm going to let that one slide. Thanks, man. Okay? I appreciate it. And it's it was dangerous coming over those impasses up there, but I couldn't find anybody to, to come out. So I had to, you know, improvise. But Okay, I don't want to speak for you guys, but this is going to be the last time he's allowed in here. Yeah, this is Mm-hmm. No, and I, I appreciate that, but I mean, I'm mean, I'm under arrest as I live in here, man. But I thank you for letting me get arrest. My, I'm under duress. Oh, okay, okay. You know what I'm saying? So gotcha. I mean, I just don't know what else to do, man. You know, I I would appreciate it if you'd not sell my van until I'm able to file a complaint with the attorney general's office. Can you do that much? I'll have it in in a couple days. I'm sorry, I can't make any promises to that because, like I say, I mean. We could be talking years. I mean, I don't know when you're going to do that. I'm going to, I'm, I'm, I'm going to have it in by in a couple of days. But it's already been more than 30 days since the car was towed. Right, but I've so they've just contacted me, the the attorney general's office, and they said they're anticipating my my claim, or I mean my complaint. So I don't know where else to go from here, man. But that's my request. If you could give me a couple of days to file that complaint, and they should be able to, you know, help me from there. And that's the end of that, guys. But this has literally been going on for months since he got pulled over and got arrested and got it towed. Somebody bailed him out, but they still had to seize the vehicle because, again, it's an illegal vehicle illegally operating on a public roadway. That is what it is. Anyway, guys, it's Wrangler. I'm out of here. I love y'all. Have a good day.